So I don't know if you've noticed this about me, but I tend to get really excited about things. <laughs> and lately one of the things that I've been extra excited about is starting a traveler's notebook. Traveler's notebooks are a particular system of notebooks started by a company called Midori, which is now called Traveler's Company. And at its most basic, a traveler's notebook is a leather or fabric cover with elastic bands in the center that you can use to attach refills and other blank inserts. People tend to use them to document their travels, but I've also seen them used as bullet journals or planners or sketchbooks or just plain old notebooks. I like the idea that they're really customizable and as you finish them, you just replace the pages. You don't have to get a whole new cover. And since I tend to be very critical of my own work, I tend to start sketchbooks and never finish them because just seeing the things that I wasn't happy with that I had done in the past just makes me not want to write in the book anymore and the idea that I can just start fresh with a new refill anytime I'm feeling like that makes me very happy. Lately I've also been feeling very creative while I'm traveling but I didn't bring the proper materials to write down my ideas other than just sticking them in a note on my phone. So I decided that a way to keep my creative juices flowing is to get one of these traveler's notebooks and take it with me everywhere to kind of encourage me to keep making stuff and keep designing things. It's gonna be a place where I can keep ideas for future videos and I really like it so far. So I'm very new to this. I've been doing as much research as I can and I thought that I would share with you kind of my process on starting this traveler's notebook. So the first thing that I noticed right away is that I got completely overwhelmed with all of the options that are out there for you to buy. There isn't just the official traveler's company traveler's notebooks anymore. There are plenty of other companies who kind of jumped on this trend. So there are covers and refills and accessories like you can stick little folders and zip pouches and all sorts of things inside of them. Deciding if you want to put photos inside and use it as a scrapbook and then how are you going to print those photos? There are just so many things to think about and so many things to spend money on. And I didn't want to spend a ton of money right away if I wasn't sure if I would even like this system. So what I did before I bought anything is I looked up the dimensions of the regular travel notebook size and I got a bunch of printer paper out of my printer. I picked a spare piece of scrapbook paper and then I measured it out to match the dimensions and I made my own traveler's notebook refill just to try it out. I decided to try binding it by just running it through my sewing machine and that worked super well. So for the last month or two, I've just been going through and writing whatever I want in it. I've been practicing my hand lettering. I've been doodling all over the place. I've been kind of just figuring out whether or not I like writing in this size of a notebook. I'm definitely noticing that my stuff has been looking better as I'm going through the notebook, which was actually one of the things I was concerned about, that I didn't want to buy a whole notebook system, start writing in it, and feel like I, like it didn't look nice. I do want it to look nice, which is one of the reasons why I started writing in just something that didn't cost me any money at all to make. So now that I know that I like this format, the first thing that I looked for is a cover, and this is the cover that I ended up buying. I decided that instead of going with the original Traveler's Company notebook cover, I would get a faux leather cover instead. And so the one that I bought is made by Webster's Pages. The line is called Color Crush, but I decided to not go with a colorful one. I just picked a brown one. It took me a long time to decide that and I think I ended up settling on this one because I wanted to put lots of color in my drawings and fill it up with lots of pictures and scrapbook paper and colorful things on the inside and I didn't want it to get too cluttered looking so I picked this one. They have an elastic band that's attached to it that helps you keep it closed and one of the reasons why I picked the Webster's Pages notebooks is that they actually have a lot of pockets on the inside which is great because I can keep scrapbook paper and washi tape and all sorts of things in these pockets. It also has a little pen loop so I can keep my favorite pen with me when I travel. And it came with this blank refill, so I've already got one to start with. The pockets all vary in size, and there's one that has a clear window, so I actually am going to put this journaling card from Project Life into that. And then that already gives me a little bit of extra color. So in case you don't know anything about these, the way that you attach these refills is using these elastic bands in the binding, and you basically just open the refill up halfway, and you stretch the elastic around it and then it holds it like this. It's kind of awesome. And this particular notebook cover comes with four of these elastics. So my favorite pen that I've been using is a Pilot G2. I use the 05, which is a pretty fine tip, and it's a black gel pen with a grip on it, which I like. I've been using it a lot. I've been using it for hand lettering and for just regular old writing and a little bit of doodling as well. It smudges a little bit, but I don't really mind that too much. So after that initial cover purchase and the pens that I already had, I bought a couple of markers and some washi tape so that I can kind 
kind of start working on getting some color in there. So I bought a few of these Tombow dual brush pens to start. I like these so far. I've been kind of afraid to use them too much just because that's how I am, but they have a big brush tip on one end and a little fine tip on the other end, which is very nice. I tend to be really stingy with things like this. I really love notebooks and I don't want to mess them up and that is a big problem that I have and I hope that this system will kind of get me out of that. I ended up buying a little washi tape set to start because I have such a hard time narrowing down and they already come in coordinated colors, which I enjoyed very much. But this is a set by a company called Create 365 and it says the Happy Planner. I actually saw a lot of great pictures of people who had wrapped washi tape around just spare cards that they had lying around and stuck it into the pockets on the traveler's notebook so that they're flat instead of having them on these rolls. And that way I can take a few different kinds of washi tape along with me, which I'm definitely going to do. <laughs> Pretty much just in time, I heard from one of my favorite stationary websites, jetpens.com, and they actually offered to send me a couple things to try out and gave me a bunch of recommendations for how to start my traveler's notebook. So thank you so much to them. I was just completely overwhelmed and it was very, very helpful that they came in at just the right time. They included the sweetest note with a bunch of tips and recommendations on it and I figured I would do a little mini haul showing you what they sent me. If you're interested in any of these products, both the Jet Pens ones and the ones that I bought myself, look in the video description below. I'll have links to everything. Okay, so I can't wait to open these up so I can see how they fit in my cover, but I got a bunch of the official Traveler's Co. Traveler's Notebook refills. They have so many different kinds available and I'm not sure which ones I'm going to like the most, but I'm so excited to try them out. All of these are in the regular size. So to start out, this is the number 003 blank insert, which I think is probably the one I'm going to use the most often. It says that the ink shouldn't sink through to the other side, so it could work with a fountain pen as well. It has just a plain thin cardboard cover, which I'm probably going to decorate somehow. The first page looks like this. It has a little box on it and it says Traveler's Company at the bottom. And then it's just plain white paper. The next insert I got is the 014, which is the craft paper insert. And I really like the look of craft paper. I think I'm going to use this one for my travel journal because I can paste a lot of stuff on top of the pages and it'll stand out. It won't just be plain white. It has a slightly rougher texture than the plain paper, but it's still pretty smooth. And this paper is relatively thin, but it has a really nice feel to it. This next one is their 012 sketch paper book. I've tried to start sketchbooks so much over the years. I know how important they are for making your art better and better, but I really want them to look good and when they don't, I stop and that's a problem. <laughs> so this paper is much thicker. The whole book actually feels much thicker. I bet you I could probably use it with watercolor if I wanted to. I've got to actually use this. I'm going to try and commit to it this time. <laughs> I also got some of these Traveler's Company rubber bands, which you can use to attach extra inserts beyond what the original elastics will hold. The back has information on how to connect them, which is pretty cool because I have not tried that yet. JetPens also sent me a bunch of supplies that I can use to fill these up. So I got a page of stickers. These are called Brunch Day, and it has a bunch of brunch foods and things like that. I was thinking I could use these whenever I go out to eat. If there's a sticker that goes with my meal, I could put it alongside it if I didn't feel like drawing the meal myself anyway. I got a Tombow brand glue tape runner. So I can use these to paste in photos or ticket stubs or any other little things that I want to my travel notebook. These are so cute. So <laughs> this is a tiny pair of scissors that folds up like a pen. There's a place to attach it to something if I wanted to, and then you pull off the cap, and that's where the scissor blades are, and then you... It actually does... Okay, I should have tried this before I filled it. <laughs> it has these little bits that you can fold down to make your grips. So it's just a teeny tiny pair of scissors if I'm on vacation and I want to cut down like a brochure or a map to fit on a page. They also included some travel themed washi tape, which I also really like. It looks like it has little stamps on it. It's very cute. So pens. So I had to ask them for recommendations on which pens to get. And I already know that I like the Pilot G2 and I'm probably going to stick with this one from just regular writing, but I did ask them for recommendations about how to get some color on my pages and I'll read you what they said. So I had mentioned that I liked the Tombow dual brush pens and they recommended the Marvy La Plume too, which is a dual brush pen as well. But she said some folks like it better because the fine tip is skinnier and better for writing. And she's right, it's a teeny tiny little fine tip, much smaller than the Tombow. The next pens are the Uniball Signo. She said by far the Signo is our most popular gel pen. So I asked for a white gel pen, which I really like the look of white ink on craft paper, and then a metallic gold, which looks so pretty with just plain black writing. I would definitely 
recommend going on Pinterest and Instagram and seeing what other people are using their traveler's notebooks for because you can get so many ideas for how you want to use your notebooks. And I ended up really liking the way it looks for people to use just plain black pen with little touches of the metallic gold and the white. So I'm excited to try that out in my book too. She also sent me a Sakura Jelly Roll glitter pen and I had not seen these since I was a kid. I loved them when I was younger. It's this really pretty shimmery blue and she recommended it to me because who doesn't like a little glitter? I've also been meaning to try watercolors but I've been so intimidated and it makes a mess whenever I try it um, but I'm going to practice. So I asked for a water brush which is basically just a plastic brush with a well in it and you can fill it up with water and use it basically instead of a paintbrush and a cup of water which I always end up spilling. And she recommended this particular brand, the Pentel Aguash, because it's more durable than the other one that I picked. So for my initial setup, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this blank Webster's Pages notebook that came with the cover I bought just as my everyday journal and I can write or draw whatever I want in there. I'm going to use the blank Traveler's Co. refill for my work ideas so I can brainstorm video ideas and draw sketches for new plushies. And anytime I come up with any ideas for things to make, I can put them in here. Then, like I said earlier, I'm going to use my craft paper refill as my travel journal and I want to try to be better about documenting my travels. When I've been home for a long time, it helps me to go and look and see all the great places I've been. And then I'm going to try to use this sketch paper refill to do daily sketches. I was looking online for prompts and I'm just going to try to fill the pages as much as I can and get all the way through it and hopefully that will improve my drawing over time. One tip that I read that I'm already really excited about, I think it's going to suit me perfectly, is any Anytime I mess something up, a drawing, or I spell a word wrong, and I just cannot fix it no matter what I do, I can just use this tape runner and some washi tape to attach another piece of paper on top of the mistake and just draw on that instead. I also like the look of adding additional papers in different colors and patterns, so it will be a happy mistake instead of a sad one. I would love your recommendations for your favorite traveler's notebook related products, and I would love to hear ways that you use notebooks like this, whether it's a traveler's notebook or a bullet journal. What do you like filling your notebooks up with? I'm so excited to go play with this. Okay. <laughs> Thanks again so much to Jet Pens for your recommendations, for the super sweet letter, and for sending me a bunch of things to try. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.